Lesson 9.1 is about the basic vocabulary of circles. So a circle is defined as the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point. And that given point is called the center of the circle. Now, the way that we name a circle is we name it by using the symbol for a circle, which looks like this. And then we name uh, the center point. So suppose I call this point M the center of the circle. Uh, the way I would describe this sim uh, circle or name it is just like this. I would say circle M. Now, if I take a point anywhere on the circle, it is exactly the same distance from the center of the circle as any other point that I pick on the circle. And I call the segments from the center of the circle out to the circle radiuses or radii, um, plural. Um, but that's, uh, that line from the center of the circle to the circle is called a radius. And every point on the circle is exactly that distance, the length of the radius, away from the center. Okay, next, a line, array, or a segment that passes through a circle and it intersects the, the circle in two points is called a secant or a secant line, S-E-C-A-N-T. Now, if I just take part of a secant line, like uh, let's say I take just the part that's inside the circle, so the endpoints of that segment are on the circle itself, I call this a chord. So that's a chord of the circle. So the part inside the circle, that segment's called a chord, and the entire line, ray, or segment uh, is, that it's on is called a secant. Now, a special type of chord that has both its endpoints on the circle, but passes through the center of the circle, it's called this circle C, um, is called a diameter. So a diameter is the length of two radiuses, you can see, because it's like back-to-back um, -back radii. So again, a diameter is a special type of chord uh, that passes through the center of the circle. Now, a tangent is a line, array, or a segment that intersects the circle in only one place. Okay, so it just touches the circle. It looks just like it's laying on it, and it intersects the circle at only one place. So again, this is called a tangent. And the point where the tangent intersects the circle has a name. That's called the point of tangency. So tangent lines and points of tangency are the topic of the next lesson, and we'll learn more about some of the special features of a tangent line. Okay, this is a minute to talk a little bit about a sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional circular object where all of the points on the surface of the sphere are exactly equidistant from the center of the circle in space. So like circles, spheres have centers. Also like circles, any point that goes from the center of the, the sphere to the surface of the sphere is a radius. And any chord that passes from through the sphere um, and passes through the center is called a diameter of the sphere. Spheres can have secants passing through them. Spheres can have chords that where the endpoints of the segment um, touch and intersect with the surface of the sphere. And like circles, spheres can have tangents. And that tangent intersects with the sphere in just one point, again called the point of tangency. So all of the vocabulary that applies to a circle in a plane also applies to a sphere in three-dimensional space. Okay, next we have concentric circles. So concentric circles are uh, multiple circles that share the same center. Now they may be evenly spaced um, apart from each other, um, all of them, or they may um, have varying sizes. The only attribute that is that all of those circles have the exact same center. Um, so I could draw another concentric circle maybe inside here if I wanted, as long as it had this red point in the middle as the center, 
uh, it would be concentric to uh, all of the other circles. So concentric circles have that sort of a bullseye appearance. Uh, they share the same center. Okay, the last of the vocabulary uh, is has to do with when we have um, polygons that are inside of circles. And what happens is each of the vertices of the polygon is on the circle. And that's the definition of a polygon being inscribed in a circle. So the way that we describe this, whatever's inside, the polygon is inside, we use the word inscribed. So the polygon being inside the circle is inscribed in the circle. So I'm using the word inscribed because it's inside. And then if I'm talking about this situation with respect to the circle, the circles around, you know, the polygon, I say the circle is circumscribed about the polygon. So that's the uh, exact vocabulary that we use to describe these these diagrams, these pictures. So it circles around it. The circle is circumscribed about the polygon. So that is it for the basic vocabulary associated with circles.